It is going to cost you more to travel this year, and if you do hit the skies, you certainly will not be alone. The International Air Transport Association predicts 4.7 billion people, that's with a B, will take to the air. That's around 2 million more people using the airways than in 2019, right before the COVID pandemic. Last year, a plane ticket cost around $766 on average. That number could jump to $780 or so this year. Prices aren't dropping anytime soon. I think the prices, they're, they're not even staying stable. They are, they are increasing, but the demand is there. Well, troubles are expected to continue for major air carriers when it comes to consumer complaints. We looked into the challenges that airlines are facing in 2024. Get ready for another turbulent and expensive year of air travel. Let's connect the dots. Folks are fed up with the airline industry. In fact, the Wall Street Journal reports there were so many complaints in 2023 that the Transportation Department couldn't count them all. It's due to several ongoing issues, mainly centered around staffing. On the ground, there aren't enough air traffic controllers to manage more flights. And in the air, student pilots are skipping over regional airlines for better wages to fly bigger planes. That's on top of funding issues. Experts say the FAA needs more money to modernize equipment that could increase capacity and workloads. So what does that mean for you? Travelers will likely see higher fares along with more delays, cancellations, and disruptions. And that is Connecting the Dots. All right, so travel expert Jenny Moore is here uh, answering your travel related questions. And so let's talk about that, how demand has impacted travel prices. We certainly are seeing that. Oh, absolutely. So prices, not just with your airlines, too. Uh, it is really across the board. But I think, you know, what people have to realize it's it's our economy, quite honestly. You know, think about it. Your gas is not the same as it was in 2019, your housing. So all across the board. But yes, we see probably as much as a 20 percent increase in travel this year. Okay. All right. So we are taking your travel related questions. The number there at the bottom of the screen, 336-379-5775. One of the uh, questions we got is about what we talked about in that first segment, which is that Jamaica's at a level three. What does a level three mean? So a level three means reconsider travel to Jamaica. It also means that some U.S. government personnel are not allowed to travel there. Again, what you have to realize, though, is that this is a level that has been in place since 2022. There are millions of people that travel to Jamaica every single day uh, and with no you know, recourse or whatever. So keep that in mind. All right. And I'm sure that you have had people that you have planned trips for for Bahamas and Jamaica uh, in the last month or so. What are they saying after they are leaving those islands? They are not noticing any difference whatsoever. Again, they're avoid using caution, just as if you were around in a big city in the United States. Use travel caution. Mm -hmm. And you said stay on the resort if you're on the resort. And if you're Correct. on the cruise line and they dump you out into the city, what should you do? So you, again, want to stay with a um, vetted or supply uh, approved uh, provider for any type of tours. OK. All right, um, this person's asking, I am uh, going on a cruise in September, middle of September. How soon should I book my flight to Boston to catch that cruise? So first of all, I'm going to say you're very lucky. That's going to be an amazing cruise. But you want to probably book your air approximately 90, 60 to 90 days in advance. Okay. Um, and when you book that air, let's talk about that because I know you've talked about this for a little while, about when you should land and be ready for your cruise. Yes, if you are going on a cruise, do not ever go in the day of a cruise. You want to make sure that you are coming in the day before. With airlines, we know that there's delays and there's maintenance and issues and weather. So you want to make sure you're there not to literally miss the boat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, because then everything's gone. Everything's done. All right, somebody's asking, when should I start planning for the holidays? And I bet you're going to say it's never too early to start planning for the holidays. You're already almost too late now. <laughs> Really? We just really? finished the holidays. I know, but believe it or not, I'm already seeing spring break of 2025 sold out on a lot of things. Okay. So, well, with that said, because someone's asking, how does airfare look for 2025? Like if you're planning a trip to Greece and they said it might be too far to look out that ahead, but can you? You can't. Airlines don't even release uh, itineraries until about 330 days in advance. 
And even then, itineraries are subject to change. If you book way far in advance, you're going to see that it's going to change multiple times. Right. Okay. All right. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to continue to take your questions. Someone just asked about travel insurance. We're going to get all into that when we come back in the next break.